Hello guys, it's T-Rex here with Kerbal with some more Kerbal Space Program and today we are going to walk through the complete process of launching to docking. So today I'm sending another mobile lab to Winterfell Station right there and this is our um this is I think the best launch window that you should have when the when whatever you want to dock is passing through um this tip of this continent right here. I think that is the best launch window that um I have. So set as, set that as target and So this is going to be a mobile lab. You see I have a docking port right here, another um, science module right here, two lights in case I have to dock in the dark. I don't want to do that, but just in case. And I have, of course I have some RCS thr um, thrusters right here, um, an RCS um, tank, and of course uh, where's the scientific equipment? Uh, right here. I think there's a thermometer right here. Uh, yeah. starting our gravity turn soon. You can lower your thrust a little bit just to save your fuel. As long as it's um as long as your velocity is still rapidly growing, it's fine. Because it just create if you go too fast, um in the atmosphere you're just creating um a lot of uh, drag. So we are going to play the catch up game, we're letting the station pass over us first, then we are going to catch up. So now we have to start watching our Apple apps here. So its altitude is right here is about um, 10,000 meters. So we want to match that. You can see our Apple apps rising at 70,000. We want to match that 10,000 first. Alright, I think that's going to be pretty sufficient here. Or actually, let's uh, make another little burn here. Bring it up to like 10,000. Alright. So now we set our Apple apps and do a maneuver where we actually just set the orbit identical to what your target's orbit is. don't have to be exact but uh, that's okay and so that's your first step to set an identical orbit from above like a view like this so we're just gonna attach from that since uh, that there's not enough fuel in that and that's gonna mess up our burn process here okay just testing my engines to see how long it takes for it to burn
You can see we're burning a little bit too fast here, so I'm throttling down. engines so we can see our orbit a little bit uh, weird here but uh, we are going to adjust so no worries so you can see it intersects your orbit intersects the other orbit here so we can add, man add a maneuver right here and you, you can ad first ad um, adjust your orbital plane to make it uh, line up with your target's orbital plane and you can see our orbit is going to be slightly higher here so in that case we need to spin this a little bit around here and since we are playing catch up we want our orbit to be a little bit this way it's our apple apps here check your apple apps it has to be higher than um 75 uh, hot thousand See that's too low here So we want to set a little lower than that Apoaps, periaps, suits, that's dropped too low right there. 77,000. Might want to just adjust that a little bit more. 79,000. Alright, that's okay, I guess. Oh, that's a little bit too much here. Whoops, 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 whoops. Messed up here there. Sorry. You don't need to be perfect here, but you want to be able to know where you're going. Okay, so that looks like a good orbit. So because you want to be running um, your orbit a little bit um, smaller than your target's orbit when you're playing catch up. Yeah, that looks like a good orbit right there. Okay, let's um, speed ourselves up here. have a 12 second burn here all right now adjust our uh, position and get ready for the burn oh whoops whoops lock in Start our burn. Alright, that looks okay. So here we can start seeing the intersect markings. That will be indicating how far we will be from our target. Right now, it's a, it's a huge separation. But, um, so... Let's run a few orbits first. You'll see that gradually decreasing as we go. See, we are catching up gradually, nicely.
488 right now separation and after the set it's gonna be 362 so a couple more orbits here and we'll be um so you want to keep um so you want to keep running this orbit um unless you reach a separation of lower than i would say 40 to 30 so you want that kind of separation to happen before you want to um start your docking process I can't speed up faster since we're actually lower than um, 120,000, so we're just going to have to wait, but this is not going to be that long. So about one or two uh, two more orbits, we are going to start um, initializing our docking process, and we'll have to adjust our orbit once again, but now we just have to wait. So now it's 253 kilometers. Let's see how that drops to. That is going to drop to a hundred. Let's see, I can't see clearly. A hundred and three. So perhaps um, we want to fix our orbit right now because we want to be closer, obviously, than that. So. to see what's gonna make our uh now that's dropped um oh, way too low here eighty thousand so we can see that separation is nine point six and the periaps is good and the apple apps is good so yeah, that would be that would be a good adjustment right there, and it only requires a 32.7 meters per, uh, per, per second burn, and it leads you to your target pretty easily. So let's do it. So that's probably gonna take us uh, two seconds two to three seconds so I will slow down when I get to that all right five four three two one perfectos okay so now you can see a, a separation on the next encounter will be 9.6 kilometers and that would be good for docking so now let's uh, first save your game and go to your Target station, whatever it is. Mine's Winterfell station this time. Um, shout out to any Game of Thrones fans out there. Um, so, this time we actually want to dock at, let's see. Let's actually dock at this one right here. So, click control from here. And then set your other ship as your target. So it's currently down somewhere over there. So now you can switch back to your other ship. All right, what the heck just happened there? Yeah, okay, okay. So I, I think I clicked maneuver mode um, accidentally over there. So. Now we are going to have a 5.7 kilometer separation on our next encounter, so let's speed up a little bit. Again, unless you've equipped lights like me, um, you want to dock on the light side, preferably. So Now we are approaching it. Seven minutes, five, uh, six minutes, five minutes. I'm just gonna wait until like two minutes. All right. So 
So you want to be pointing at your uh, periaps right here. Uh, I mean, sorry. Oh my god. Your retrograde over here to slow down your relative speed to your target as you approach that point, your lowest intersection point. You want to completely slow down to 0 0.000 meters per second at that point precisely. It's currently over there. We are going to reach that point at approximately one minute. So now you, you can start your burn here. So now it's down to five meters per second. So let's get it just burned down totally so we can all right, that's good enough. Point four. Now you point yourself towards your, because you have no, almost no relative velocity to your target. Now you can point to your target, and then burn mm -hmm. that way. I almost, um, I burned to like forty something, or to fifty. Now you can see your uh, in closest encounter point is 0.5 kilometers. It has refreshed to from here to over there. And we are approaching that point approximately in two minutes. So we're just going to have to wait. And since your RCS thrusters <coughs> sorry, are not efficient enough, uh, sufficient enough to slow your sh um, spacecraft down to a, um, a few meters per second from 40, you, you still want to be using your um, main rocket as um, that uh, method right now so you want to be pre-aiming at your um, retrograde to prepare to slow down to 0.0, .0 again so it's just you have to repeat that process I think I've went through this in my previous video but not that uh, clearly so I want to just say that again you might fail on your first time docking like I, I did so um, don't be afraid, it, after you practice it a few, a few times, you'll be alright. So you might want to just uh, speed up a little here a little bit. Alright, now let's burn our velocity down. Here we're, we're super close to it now. This time you want to be more precise than the last time. Okay. Yeah. Now we are, we technically can drop our main rockets right here, but I'm just gonna use it for a one last burst to save save some of my RCS um, gas. So I'm just gonna use this to burn until like um, about 12 meters per second, and then I'm gonna drop sideways and dump this so it's gonna fly the other way instead of just getting in my way turn on your RCS thrusters you wanna slow down a little bit and adjust your uh just the position that you're pointing at so we're going a little bit too fast here just adjust using your IJKL keys and your HN keys so now you want to fall back to about five meters per second Slow down even more since you can't really see. So now you want to line up with actually where you want to dock here. So I want to dock at the port that's uh, right here. So try to I'm still not that um, near it to target it. You want to turn on your lights right now. I mean they don't really help that much but they can help you see the ports when you get closer.
I uh, still can't really see, but, uh... Slow ourselves down here a little bit. Alright, let's, let's just go to... Um... Come on. I think it's there, right there. So we'll set that, set that as our target, and, uh... Slow ourselves down here for a sec. No, 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 no. Where did it go? Alright, here we go. Alright. We can go to like 0.5 meters here. Go really slowly on your final approach here. So now you can see the light actually helps a bit. I think this angle is a little bit extreme over here, but uh, I think we're gonna be fine. I'm not sure though. Not really sure. Turn off your SAS. To enable um, that magnetic force to drag you over here and dock. I think it's going to be alright. There we go. Yeah. So, here we've successfully docked at Winterfell Station again. I'm going to dock another three of these same modules over here. To provide more habitats for little green kerbals up here. It's currently just sitting on one of the, <laughs> the modules right here. So... That is going to be a complete docking process from launching to docking. Um, this is T-Rex, and thanks for watching.